Hey guys, Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you the Seomer CY70 trail camera. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, guys, so this product was sent to me by the Seomer company for free to do this reviews, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. You know me, I'm going to take this out, put it in the field, and test it out in real world conditions and show you the results. So, but first, let's get it out of the box. Let's get the camera out here. All right, there's our camera. And it probably comes with the standard stuff here. Let's move that box out there. Let's see what we got. We've got a, uh, Hardware mounting base, USB data cable, a strap, and some mounting hardware. Okay, let's take a look at the camera. This is a pretty standard design here. Um, uh, there's just, it's real common. It's what I call the clamshell. They uh, open up like a clam. Take a couple links here. Boom, open that up like there. All right. Uh, it has batteries over here, and then you've got your controls and everything on here. And I'll do a separate video uh, about the menu system on it, but everything looks pretty standard. It has a full-size SD card slot in the bottom of the camera right there, okay, um, which is good. I like the full-size instead of the micro SD. Well, guys, the best thing to do is just put this out in the field for a while and test it out and then come back and show you the results. So... That's what I'm going to do, and I'll be back in just a minute. Hey, guys, so I'm back with the Seomer CY70 trail camera. All right, guys, so I put this in the field for several weeks, and actually the, the, I did two different tests on this because um, on my first test, I lost the footage due to a hard drive failure. So after I pulled the card and downloaded all the, car, the uh, images and videos off the card, I suffered a hot hard drive failure and lost them. So I had to put it out for a second testing and that's why it's been a little bit more than a month that I've got this camera and tested it out. But it's still working. It's been through two different testing, through lots of storms and all kinds of stuff. And you know, it did well. So let me go ahead and show you some video and image samples from this test. So here are some videos. And here are some images. And like always, I showed you some nighttime, low light, and bright daylight so you can tell the difference there on both the videos and the images. Unfortunately, on this test, I'm not going to be able to do the statistical data because of the mess up. Um, I, you know, with the batteries and stuff being doing two different different sets and not being able to really measure them adequately against my other test, I can't give you an impression there. The batteries are still running on it fine. Um, it's, they still have power after two uh, different settings out in the field there. Okay, it doesn't have an SD card in it, and so it won't turn on without an SD card. Uh, but, um, you know, it's still turning on, so it still has battery power after a month in the field and after taking lots of videos and images. As again, I lost the first set, so I don't know exactly how many I had there. Um, but it does do a good job. Detection ratio, based on what I saw, was very accurate. Um, and you saw the video and image quality for yourself. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later. Oh,